I, I think, um, contrary to that, we must not politicize um, Women's Day. Uh, it is for women globally. And it's where they should do meet and discuss the plight of women. And this is where they should do gather and reflect the society, how we have managed in terms of uh, our day to day, in terms of how our country is being run, in terms of our country, how is actually uh, making decisions that are inclusive um, to uh, gender equality. As we are in a new dawn, there are some comments that are saying women are not um, inclusive and so on. Let us let the women themselves voice that part. But we have deprived them. As the Central Committee to sit and say, let us not have uh, or let us boycott um, the Women's Day, I think it's not acceptable. I condemn it. And I totally disagree with the Central Committee. This is their special day, not only in Zambia, but international. We have got gender equality organizations in our country. They want to, to bring in the programs across the country to share among themselves, to see what can be done and what has been done and what we are not doing. In that manner, we are actually depriving them not to be transparent. We are praying and transparent. We are in a position now. I hear um, someone was, uh, one of uh, our colleagues was commenting about uh, how uh, the, op the current ruling government, UPND, in your position then, how they boycotted the uh, um, Youth Day and uh, Women's Day. There were their reasons that they had at that time. But at this time, we have got our own reasons that are different from what reasons that they had. What is the similar now is that we are in your position. But our challenges that we have, it's not the challenges that the UPND had. So we need to respect mm. the, the, the Women's Day and Youth Day. We need to respect. It is their, their day that they should actually sit and discuss and share the right moment reflecting. When is this going to happen? When are the youth going to be given the platform to discuss? When is the women going to be given the platform to discuss anything? Because we are going to say, no, 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 they cannot meet. Mr. We are not going to give them a room. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you think that, uh, you know, such stance of, you know, um, boycotting national events that are being graced by the president, how do you think this is going to affect the rebranding of the patriotic front? Uh, Look, as for now, that's what we are saying. Uh, we need to move from uh, um, old uh, political stances. What we are saying in the uh, PF is that we need to go around the country and look within our party. We have got a lot of uh, young men and women who can take this party forward. We want to thank our colleagues who have read the party from inception to where we are today. It's time to put the tools down and let others take it from here. And we need new ideas, new blood to take the, forward, the, the party forward. Now, at a stage where we are with what is happening now in a patriotic front, it's hindering the rebranding. The rebranding is being hindered because we are, we are we are not showing any change. We are actually repeating. It's like if that happened, they were there when those things were happening. If today you tell me there were a new, uh, a new uh, leadership or a new interim leadership that was put in PF, as we are calling it rebranding, I don't think we are going to have the, uh, the boycott because their decision and the idea was going to be different. Um, let's look at it. Also from, from this end, we have seen some members of the party who have not been in agreement with this decision made by uh, the senior members of the party. Uh, do you think that this is some sort of insubordination within the party or it's people just expressing themselves? Because when a decision is made from the top leadership, you'd expect the uh, other members, the junior members of the party to comply. But uh, this has not been the case. Does it also 
show uh, the lack of, say, respect for the top leadership in the party? Um, I want to say that um, maybe I allow me to go a little bit one step back. Uh, in the patriotic front, there is a, a little bit of uh, leadership oxygen that is needed, and which is a little bit of resistance. So far, so good. A lot of uh, uh, PF uh, members, let me talk about the provincial leadership, um, district leadership, and uh, constituents leadership, branch, be it any at any level, a little bit of a concerns because of our central committee, which is the driving seat of our party. The decisions that are made at the, at the uh, uh, central committee, they are not widely consulted. They are made at that level. And we know the call for the central committee. It has been called to release the central committee member to pave way for an interim committee to take the party forward. And the decision must come from there. But it's not an insubordinate for the members um, to decline or to fail to adhere to what the uh, central committee that is sitting there to make. They need to understand that we are waiting for them to accept. It's them who have actually refused to step down and to pave way into a new direction of the party. They're not bringing anything new or they're not bringing anything that is different from what we know already. I can tell you, all members, they know. When the Central Committee sits before they pass any decision, we know the decision they're going to pass because we know what they are thinking and we know what are their challenges. So by so doing, it's not doing any justice. And the anger, we've been very patient as members, we've been very patient for too long. But this, it has gone on for too long. It's not insubordinate. We are trying to call to say, you know what, can you hear us so that at least we can take the party to a new level of rebranding, which we are talking about. Right now, rebranding, it's not really happening as we anticipated it because they are hindering it. It's not insubordinate, sir.